So, Braxton, you came to work for us. You're from a different generation, but you're not like the rest of your generation. I'm gonna, I, like, I'm just gonna put that on you. And we'll put that evil on you, like Ricky Bobby. <laughs> you're not like the rest of your generation. You showed up in a suit to my office. Now you worked at a place that had suits. Mm-hmm. What went into that decision? Who taught you that? Um, couldn't really tell you to be honest. Like, what what would make me do that? Other than, I mean, like, my mom. I was homeschooled um, for a long time, so it was like she was real adamant about respect and, and all that. So it's oh, like, I can tell. Yeah, it, 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 but so it's like that's kind of what that translates into. It's like I don't – dressing up is what it is, but to me it's always been like that's a show of respect when you're meeting someone, whatever. Yeah. You put thought into what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm going to be 100% honest. Like Pam's cool as the other side of the pillow. Like she's cool. She's fun to hang out with. <laughs> Had a great time in Vegas. She would not take a Jaeger bomb with me. <laughs> I took two Jaeger bombs, realized I was drunk, fell asleep in the bathtub, woke back up, went to dinner. Like, that's the extent of my being able to drink these days. Mm-hmm. But she's cool as the other side of the pill. We don't need to paint her in a bad light. She wasn't, it's, you know. She was hard in all the right ways. Yeah. Like, like yeah. She, uh, she let us push it, you know, and, and whatever. But at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you know your values, you know respect you know uh just how to treat other people so you show up in a suit Mm -hmm. okay i don't know i give braxton some busy work it's just like here's some busy work take it he gets it done in an efficient amount of time like a mind-blowing amount of time for me because i was like uh, that would if i was given the same busy work it it, two days but i'd probably give up at some point and then just lie and say, yeah, I got that done. I want something uh, more challenging. Or don't work. Or this yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I want something more challenging. Like, I don't want to do – I didn't come here to do that. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. at that juncture in my time, um, I was kind of scorned. I was a little – I was a little uh, – uh, you know, DJ's a good hand. But DJ, like, had, had wore me out to the point where I'd forgotten that – you guys are young. Y'all's life experience isn't there. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? DJ had broke so much stuff and tore up so much stuff and, like, cost us so much money at different junctures in time. And then we had another girl that was young that came to work for us, and she basically used Rona to quit, you know. What was the, the time difference between, I guess it was, like, September or October the first time that I showed up? Since her, when was – I don't know. When did um, she go she, into retirement? <laughs> she went into retirement – Let's see, COVID started in March. Yeah. We probably came back to the office in May or June, and she didn't come back. Um, Yeah, and we made the decision to work from home early on just because we could. Mm-hmm. So we made we hired um, those two ladies. We won't mention their names. No need to disparage them. Um, but we hired those two ladies and then literally started working from home. So we didn't even get a time to, to train them properly. And didn't have defined roles for me either. We just knew we needed more man hours in the office, and so hired them. Uh, they left, and I was kind of – I was a little bit – I was like, man, I couldn't figure out what motivated people because people come in and say they want to make a lot of money, but you don't define what that lot of money is. And so they make five grand and they retire. In this girl's case, it was 500 bucks and she retired. It was crazy. And then with you, I was, like, I was like, I don't know what his number is. But there's going to be a set amount of money where he walks away, which we argued about in Key West. They were yeah big mad at me about saying that. They're like, you're putting that evil on him. Don't you put that evil on him, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I was like, I don't. Like, it, well, if Braxton tells me uh, he, he just wants to keep working, yeah, I'd fire him. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, you can't say that. You it's can't like, say that. And I'm like, that, 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 look, I'm telling you, like, if – if his plan is to retire by my side, still doing marketing at forty-seven years old, he's gonna get fired. <laughs> like he's gotta, he's gotta go grow and get his own wings and do his own thing, which he's working on. But when you came to work for us, all of that, you know, that first day in the suit, you're in the suit, you're at the at at the job. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm a little bit disgruntled. I'm like. Uh, he's he's working for free, but you know. And then you kind of impressed us. You you were able to do some tasks. I think Jacob gave you some tasks. Mm-hmm. Um, we were just trying to keep you busy, and everyone was like, I was just. They'd send me the next person, like give him something to do. Yeah, so we had an intern, and we were abusing him. Came from a family friend. Um, we're just abusing you because you're working for free. Mm-hmm. And then one day I was like, I'm I, Jacob. I don't know where we're gonna get the money, but I'm gonna 
I'm gonna ask, we're gonna hire Braxton. If he wants to come on, we'll hire him. And then you did the next impressive thing, which was I thought you were gonna live in Belton still, but you did the next impressive thing, which was what did you do? What what would you do? We hired you. What'd you do? Tell us what you did. Bought a bought an RV. But how'd you buy it? Took a loan from a good communist friend of mine, and uh, is he gonna watch? No, he won't watch. If he does, he'll he'll love it. He's he's proud. He knows he's communist. I don't I don't know if you'd put that label, but he is. <laughs> All right. So partially from him, partially from my sister, and and I came up with the rest, and uh, and they're all about it. They uh, you know, I didn't. Abby loaned you some money. Mm-hmm. How much did she loan you? I think like sixteen hundred bucks. Damn. Because I he he wanted to give me the full amount. I'm like no, you know, I still kind of felt weird about it. I didn't like what I was asking for. Why'd you ask for it? I needed it. That was like the only way because I that was the the reason why I didn't stay in Belton is I don't think I could have you know afforded not afforded but been able to really like I had I don't think I would have been allowed to if anything really yes because your parents wanted you to go to college mm-hmm. and you had made the decision no all right so that's impressive you buy the RV mm-hmm. you go into a real uncomfortable situation there to ask a tennis coach yeah we called him a communist but he's your tennis coach yeah I, and that was it i mean i never really had a how'd you know he had the money what was it 14 grand how much was it um no half of that oh okay uh, five grand from him like 1600 for my sister and then uh i came up with like another 1300 bucks how, how'd you know he had it um i i didn't really um at he, that point i had just been told um you know like kind of got anything. into it with uh with my aunt and uh, and my dad about it, and you know they just kind of at that point made it clear that hey, you know you you kind of you're on your own. Mm-hmm. So you've got you to mm-hmm. at the start. At, at the, the start. start, she quickly, you know. Yeah, I um, got you. But at that point, like I was told, no, you need to agree to go to school in the fall um, if you want us to help you out. And really, yeah. And so at that point, I'm like, I'm not doing this with strings attached. I didn't know any of those guys. This is crazy. Yeah. So. That's wild. Now you're 17 at this time too. Uh-huh. We need to we need to let them like you're 17. You graduated from high school early. No life experience. Like no, no nothing. life experience. We're, <laughs> we're, we're gonna get into that. All the episodes will be about Braxton's lack of life experience. <laughs> but your experiences are good. But so you come on, you're you you you're severing some pretty important ties. You got a dad mm-hmm. that's not on board. You got your aunt that's gonna pay for your college that's not on board. I guess Pam's like fuck it. She was she was not sold that it would work out. She was sold that you're seven. It just, exactly that. You graduated early. You already have a ton of college credits. Like you're 17. What do you have to lose? Yeah. If there's time to do it, it's now. Right. It's like so. What if you have to go to school at 25? Like you have more than enough time to yeah. do it. You don't have no kids. Mm-hmm. You don't have any responsibility. Um, this is the time to do it. So yeah. yeah. So it's like at that point when I was like getting told, no, 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 like you can't do it. You got to commit to school or whatever. I went over to that guy's house, not even to ask him for money, more so just to like kind of vent to him, like tell him, man, you know, I don't know what to do. And he's like, oh, you need some money? I'm like, what? I did not go over there to ask for it. He yeah. offered it. And well, he was ready to write me a check for the whole amount. Well, how'd you know about the RV though? Been You're- looking like that. That was part of the deal is, uh, is my aunt. She said that. You know, I'd help you out with this. And then it was like with strings attached. I'm like, if you go to college. Mm-hmm. So she was going to, you were going to originally buy the RV to go to college. D- no, for, for going to Grosbeck. But, but you've got to commit go to college this fall. So I'm like, okay. I'm not, I don't want to be halfway in. Like if I'm going for it, if I'm going to yeah. commit to it. So I wasn't willing to do that. And so uh, went, got the money. Well, look, that. All impressive. 